بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن في خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف الليل والنهار لآيات لا في الليل والنهار لآيات لأولي الألباب الذين يذكرون الله قياما وقعودا وعلى جنوبهم ويتفكرون وعلى جنوبهم ويتفكرون في خلق السماوات والأرض رب بنا ما خلقت هذا باطلا سبحانك فقنا عذاب ربنا إنك من تدخل النار فقد أخزيته وما للظالمين من أنصار ربنا سمعنا مناديا ينادي للإيمان أن آمنوا بربكم فآمنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار ربنا وآتنا ما وعدت 
فَتَنَا عَلَى رُسُلِكَ وَلَا تُخْزِنَا يَوْمَ الْغِيَامَةِ إِنَّكَ لَا تُخْلِفُ الْمِعَادِ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمُ سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين لله تعالى الفاتحة you will have no time for the enjoyments of this world due to its ongoing sufferings. Do not be heedless. Study well to acquire knowledge. Time wasted cannot be regained. With the goal of teaching the akhlaq of Qur'an al kareem and assisting them to walk in the path of the enlightenment of the sunnah of our Prophet, the United American Muslim Association at 30 of its branches regardless of race, nationality, and language has been using the Isabit education model to educate our children for a better future. Clean and hygienic environments are prepared so our students can have a comfortable learning experience. The beloved Prophet ﷺ taught us that masjids and places where ilm is learned are gardens of paradise. Our children learn to recite the Qur'an, fiqh, short surahs, to recite in prayer, adab, akhlaq, dua, and many more. Students are taught how to lead the congregational prayers and be a mu'addin. All daily prayers are prayed as a jama'ah. Daily Yasin and Ayat al Kursi Khatim are done for the well being of everyone in the Ummah. We teach them to apply the knowledge they've learned in their lives. Smaller classrooms are assembled for specific levels. Each student receives special attention and education from the teacher. Smaller groups are developed for a more beneficial learning environment. Expert academias that are keenly interviewed and picked to tutor our students with their academic endeavors. Meat and chicken are hand slaughtered by our very own butchers and imams as witnesses. At the end of every meal, prayers and supplications are made in gratification for Allah Jalla Jalaluhu. Lounges and locales are prepared for beneficial entertainment for our students. We are all happy together. We are all laughing together. We are all playing together. And we are all moving on the road to success together. Educating the world one child at a time. United American Muslim Association. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Arrahmanir rahim. Maliki yawmid din. Iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in. Ihdinas siratal mustaqim. Siratal ladhina an'amta 'alayhim ghayril maghdubi 'alayhim waladdallin. Amin ya mu'in. Our valuable brothers and sisters, thanks again for joining the series of the UAMA Parents Islamic Values Seminars. In this session, our topic will be the importance of boarding program and we will, we will be supporting this topic with some statistics and some numbers from all around the world, all around the United States. First of all, why should we think about boarding program? Why should we think about it? And why should we think about boarding madrasa program? 
inshallah, we will be evaluating these two topics. Parents, why do parents send their child to public school? Why? Because they concern about their future. They concern about their children's future. But what are the facts? What are the possible dangers which is waiting for their children in public schools? Obviously, there are some dangers which is waiting for them. First of all, it is hard to manage and control their academic classes. And it might be too late when you realize if their grades are low. It might be too late. Not only their academic classes, but also environmental dangers. The circle of friends. The inappropriate behaviors. Again, inappropriate clothings. And most importantly, non-religious youth that is coming up. There is a huge percentage of non-religious youth in the high schools, in the middle schools, in the public schools. Those are all the things which is out of parents' control. We said academic success. According to the Eurostat, between the age 18 and 24, 18 and 24, 40% of the youth, 40% of the students are leaving the school due to academic failure. They are leaving the schools due to academic failure. Because why? It is out of parents' control. We said, and there is also something worse. 30% of that youth, 30% of that youth, that students who left the school, ends up in jail. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of our children. Now let's come to the main point. What is the alternative education model? Boarding program. Boarding program. What are the advantages of boarding program? Most of our viewers are already our parents, but our children are not the only youth around us. Why, we, why should we direct? Why we should direct the people around us to the boarding program? It's not the only youth around us. Our children is not the only youth around us. Discipline and manner. Akhlaq. Discipline and akhlaq. First of all, Schools only give academic education. It doesn't, it doesn't make the student a good person. Is it about only being a good person? It is not. It is not. Once we check the success of the boarding schools, we will see the difference. What are the systems of most successful and private high schools and middle schools? They are all boarding programs. They are all boarding programs. Boardingschools.us. There is a website that uh, shows all the boarding schools around the United States. Once you have a chance, please take a look and see the quality of boarding program, boarding schools. Once you dig into it, you will see the difference. Forbes magazine makes a research about the, uh, the things which bring success once you dig into it, best team workers come from boarding schools. Best team workers come from boarding schools. People who graduated from boarding schools are more successful from the others. And again, according to the research, I think no need to mention about the earning wealth. And let's come to the another and most important point. Why boarding madrasa program? Do we only want academic success? Or we also want Islamic studies? Our students, our young generations, they are the future of Islam. They are the alim and alimas of, of, of future. One day, 
it was the poorest time. It was the Ashab-i Kiram's poorest time. One Jewish man comes to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he says, Ya Muhammad, Ya Muhammad al-Ameen. I'm sewing up a new dress. I'm sewing up a new dress. I will give the old one to you when it's ready. This day, you can come and pick it up. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Okay, I will. I will be there. That day comes. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam goes there. But the Jewish man was already died. So his daughter says, Ya Muhammad al -Amin, my father, my dad passed away, but he told me that Muhammad al -Amin will come. And when he comes, give my old dress to him. Give my old dress to him. So here it is. After a few days, our valuable brothers and sisters, after a few days, she comes to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She was crying. She says, Ya Muhammad, I saw my dad in my dream. I saw my dad in my dream. He was burning in the hellfire. His whole body was burning in the hellfire except his elbows and his knees. I couldn't figure out why. I couldn't understand why. I couldn't realize the reason. I, I couldn't figure out the reason. So I came to you. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, We gave your father's old dress to one of the Ashab Sufa. And you know, we all know Ashab Sufa. The word Ashab Kiram who were always busy with ilm, with knowledge. At that time, madrasas. So, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam continues. Since they were always busy with ilm, with knowledge, writing the Quran, the memorizing the Quran, since they were always sitting, their elbows and knees gets old. The dresses, the elbows and the knees of dresses gets old. So they make patches. They make patches. That's why your dad's elbows and knees was not burning in the hellfire. Our valuable brothers and sisters, this is not only fadil of ilim. This is not only about the importance of knowledge, but also this is the fadil of ilm students. And it is, also, it is only possible with boarding madrasa program. Our vision is educating our youth with knowing the value of ilm. As you know, ilm as a word occurs with ayn, lam, and mim. Ayn, Lam, and Meen. Ayn comes from Aliyun, which means the sublimity, the greatness. Lam comes from Lutuf, which means the compassion. And Meen comes from Al Mulk. So, Ilm delivers the person highest level of Jannah with Ayn, who has it. Ilim makes the person merciful with, with lamb. And meme makes the person superior, makes the person over the people, over the others. Again, our vision, educating our youth, educating our students, knowing the value of ilim, knowing the value of ilim. Again, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, On the day of judgment, when that day comes, when that day comes, four group of people will come in front of the Jannah without torture, without hisab, without questioning. Four group of people. Who are they? First group is alim, the scholars. 
Second person is shaheed. Third one is person who has accepted Hajj ibadah. And the last one is generous rich person. Generous rich person. Four group of people. So, when that day comes on the day of judgment, Rasulullah says they will all uh, they will try to get into Jannah first before everyone. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send the Jibreel alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send the Jibreel alayhi salam to be a referee between them. And Jibreel alayhi salam will ask to Shaheed, Ya Shaheed, which amal did you perform to deserve this? Why do you think you need to get into the Jannah first? Shaheed says, I fought for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I fought for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and became Shaheed. And Jibreel alayhi salam adds, Who did you learn it from? Who did you learn from that becoming Shaheed has a great value? Shaheed will say, I learned it from the alim. I learned it from the scholar. And Jibreel alayhi salam asked these same questions to the person who, who has accepted Hajj ibadah and to the, to the person, uh, which generous person. And all same answers. Which ibadah do you have? Ya Jibreel, I helped my relatives. I gave my sadaqah. I gave my zakat. So, I should be able to get into the Jannah first. And who did you learn it from? I learned it from Alim. Ya Haji, where did you learn that becoming Haji, going Hajj, has a great value? Ya Jibreel, I learned it from, from, the, uh, from Alim, from the scholar. And Jibreel will finally say, then be humble and let the person get into Jannah who thought you died. Because you learned it from him. Because you learned it from him. In another hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Kun aliman aw muta'alliman aw sa'iman wa la takun rabi'an fatuhlika Kun aliman be the one who teach or be the one who learn? Be the one who teach or be the one who learn? Or if you cannot be these two, be the one who listen. Be the one who listen. Three groups. Do, do not be the fourth one. Do not be the fourth one. You would be halak. You would be destroyed. You would be destroyed. So our students, they are learning. And they are teaching. Most of our students are, alhamdulillah, helping their hojas with educating the weekend, weekend students. Educating the uh, data students, after program students, after school students. And also they are the one who listens. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep them in the right path. So, in another history, one day Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu goes to the bazaar, goes to the bazaar, and he says to the people out there, why are you standing here? Don't you know that? They, they are distributing the heritage of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the masjid. What are you, what are you guys, why are you guys wasting your time here? Once they heard that, they stopped whatever they are doing and run to the masjid. Run to the masjid. After a while, they, 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 they come back with empty handed. With empty handed. And then, Ya Abu Huraira, you told us 
they were distributing the heritage of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Abu Hurairah says, then what did you see? What were they doing? We didn't see anything at the masjid. They were, distrib uh, they were some group of people, they were, they were doing zikrullah. The other group were just busy with ilm. They were discussing some uh, ilm issues, fuqah issues. We didn't see anything else. Abu Huraira radiallahu anh says, It is the heritage of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is the heritage of Rasulullah alayhi wa sallam. What is it? Ilm. Have you ever heard that Prophet left after him some wealth, some money? Our valuable brothers and sisters, the heritage of heritage of the prophets of ilm, the knowledge. And alhamdulillah, our beloved students are the inheritor of the prophets, inheritor of prophets. Now, inshallah, we will have you watch a video about our services that we had previous year. As the United American Muslim Association, this year has been an incredible journey. Throughout the year, with your continued emotional, spiritual, financial, and physical support, we excelled in many areas, prominently our talib. In our education field, 546 full-time boarding students, 1,006 weekend school students, 1,478 summer camp students, 1,409 winter camp students, a total of 4,414 students have received an education from the UAMA. The education that the UAMA provides is far from an ordinary education. By using the Isabet education method, we have successfully taught our beloved students the Qur'an and the Sunnah from authentic sources. That's not all. In addition, we have provided Iftar and Sahur at 41 different locations. That's a total of 3,982 tables of Barakah that has been set. Numerous amounts of our communities have broken bread with us. They started and ended their fasting with the UAMA. During the month of Ramadan, in nine different countries, 3,857 food packages were delivered to our brothers and sisters in need. At 141 different locations, we have recited the whole entire Qur'an 1,528 times. 87 different mosques and locations we led Tarawi and provided an Imam. During the month of Dhul Hijjah, we have sacrificed Qurbani and distributed them to our beloved brothers and sisters in need. A total of 12,146 Qurbani slaughtered and distributed to 48,584 people. At the end of the year, such as now, we would like to extend our gratification to you. Without your continued support, it would have been impossible for such accomplishments. United American Muslim Association Ameen Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammadi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een وَعْفُ أَنَّا وَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَرْحَمْنَا أَنْتَ مَوْلَانَا وَأَنْتَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ أَنْتَ مَوْلَانَا وَأَنْتَ أَكْرَمُ الْأَكْرَمِينَ أَنْتَ مَوْلَانَا وَأَنْتَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ أَنْتَ مَوْلَانَا فَانْصُرُنَا عَلَى الْقَوْمِ الْكَافِرِينَ Ya Rabbil Alameen, keep us on the right path and grant us well-being along with those whom you have granted well-being. And protect us with those whom you have protected. 
Allow us to use our hearing, our sight and our strength in your consent as long as you keep us alive. O oh Allah, do not let worldly affairs be our principal concern nor the ultimate limit of our knowledge. O oh Allah, we ask you for your love and the love of those who love you and the love of those deeds that get us close to your love. Ya Rabbil Alameen, clean our souls with your nur, grant us your nur, grant us the honor of seeing your Jamal Ilahi in the paradise. O oh Allah, we ask you to accept our duas and raise our ranks in your sight, to forgive our sins. O oh Allah, make us of the people of the Qur'an al kareem with recitation, memorization, and implementation of the Qur'an al kareem Ya Rabbil Alameen, soften our hearts, fill with Iman, Yaqeen, and Taqwa, remove the ignorance, arrogance, riya, and all evil from our hearts. Unite us and gather us with all our loved ones in Jannatul Firdaus. Ya Rabbil Alameen, Please let us gather under the flag of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which is Lewa'ul Hamd in the Day of Judgment. Ya Rabbil Alameen, bless us with righteous children. Subhan Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifun, wa salamun ala al-mursaleen, wa alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, lillahi ta'ala al-Fatiha.